How's it going, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Distraint. Last episode, we helped a man find his dog to kind of ease up the tension of me telling him that his house has to be given up because there's going to be a bridge built over it. Uh, poor guy's been living there his entire life. It's terrible, terrible. Adding, just piling on the guilt and regret for this poor man yet, Price, who I'm speaking of, and he's still pursuing that partnership because of money. That's a sad thing. It's a very sad thing. But, uh, at the end of that, we got a call from someone uh, saying that Mrs. Goodwin is not feeling well, and she's probably on her deathbed. And, uh, so we're gonna go visit her to try to ease the guilt, I guess. It, but he's still- see, he's trying his best to be human in this, like, inhumane act of just, like, no empathy. Uh, like, the, the, the whole point of doing it is just to say, hey, we have to inform you. It's like a letter basically, but in human form, we have to inform you that you you have to leave. I'm sorry, there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing. So it's just like, it's so, such lack of empathy, I feel like he's making up for that by trying to do good acts, by finding the guy's dog. Now he's gonna go visit this woman he doesn't even know to see if she needs anything and see if he can help her on her deathbed. I mean, it's just, it's sad. My new coffee maker deluxe 2000, one press of a button is enough. Have I done this already? Oh, oh, it might. Oh, yeah, that's right. When I load it back up, it goes to when I originally saved, so... Who might that be? Alright, hello, this is Price speaking. Mr. Price, this is Stewart speaking. I'm calling you from a nursing home on behalf of Mrs. Goodwin. Is, is everything okay? She had a stroke. But she's doing relatively fine. Let me guess, she asked me to visit her? Impressive, Mr. Price. Oh, indeed so. It would mean the world to her. Could you please consider doing so? Yes, of course, I'll come to see her. Thank you, Mr. Price. I'll let her know. Thank you for calling me. Oh, that's right, because he had it in like a dream state. But now she actually is calling. Dreams of guilt are coming true. Here we go. Oh, hello, parents. Ha ha ha. You are right, dear. I will never forget that day. Oh, look, dear, it's our little boy. I can see that, hon. Hey, son, do you mind we took some coffee already? Coffee tastes great this time. Not at all, since you are here. I guess you have something important to tell me? That is correct, son. It seems you are still pursuing the riches at the expense of others. What your father's trying to tell you is that you are losing yourself in the process. I think I know what you mean. But I can't quit now, I'm so close to success. Well, how about Mrs. Goodwin? We heard she's not doing too good. Don't you think she would rather be at her home? I know, I feel horrible for her. Maybe you would understand, if you saw the consequences of your actions. Did you go and see how Mrs. Goodwin is doing? Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. No, son, we do. We're only thinking what would be the best for you. Sorry, I know that. See? You can be very compassionate, honey. Hello. Is anyone home? I'm looking for Mr. Price. Oh man, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> okay, focus. Drink the coffee and suit up. Get the head straight. Yep. He's going nuts. I added the sound effect for good measure. Damn good coffee. I'll get dressed and I'm off. My parents are weird, man. My real parents. His parents are weird, too. Guess we're here. No one's at the door. Oh, I felt like someone knocked on the front door. Where's the front door? Payton was going to visit. Hope she's okay. Suit up, bitch. Trying to face the uh, consequences of your actions. Do you have to meet Mrs. Goodwin? I hated myself. But maybe if I confront her, maybe I could find peace of mind. Oh, reception. Ha, <laughs> deception. Lol. Hello, anyone there? I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Speaking of service. Dude, why is it so dark in here? Oh, there we go. Hello, people. Who might you be? Who- how are you? Okay, take care. Look at that TV. Good day, madam. I'll get going now. Snow. No wonder these folks are so absent. Yeah. Hello. Ahem. <clears throat> Can I get past, please? No point. He's sleeping like a rock. Okay. Here's a door. Let's save. Whoo! It's so loud. Okay. Ah, nursing home hallway. No one can get past that. What is there? Why are there bars on that? God, dude, you're going crazy. Is this someone's mouth? That is. What the hell is this program? I better just leave it. Yeah, it's someone's mouth. It's like biting his tongue. Ah, I can't watch that. Can't watch that. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Whoa, look at her face. 
I, I refuse. I shall not cook anything. No. Potatoes? My skills are going to waste. I refuse. I need better ingredients. It would be so nice to have some meat every now and then. Go away. Get lost. Someone's having an argument. Let's go elsewhere. Let's avoid that at all costs. That sounds good. Bathroom. Don't need to wash my hands right now. Don't like using public toilets. Okay. A little weirdo. I always thought that was like a little, uh, piece of his hair on top. But it's actually a hat. Didn't notice that. It's wobbling around. It's locked. Oh, great. So she's gone. Hey, it's Mr. Uh, I'm fresh just that guy. It's a lumberjack, isn't it? Oh, potatoes after potatoes. Yes, I've heard this conversation. Savings, they call it. These people need better food. But I can't provide them with only potatoes. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Okay. Alright. It's locked. Wait. The bars are gone for this one. Wait a second. That's not right. Wait, okay, that was. I guess I must have mis made a mistake. Where's the bars? There they are. Okay. Let's get out. Can't do anything. Wait, did I have any items? No, I did not. Alright, let's go past this time. Anyone there? No answer. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, is it... Oh, hello. Jesus, I thought I heard something. Hey, kid, could you do an old man a favor? Sorry, who are you? Janitor Carpenter at your service. My name's Price, nice to meet you. And sure, what do you need? I was in the middle of something, but then the electricity went off. I'm guessing the circuit breaker tripped. There's a fuse box near the kitchen. Could you check the fuses for over there? Because I'm not in a hurry, so why not? Thanks, kid. Yay. I'll be right back. I will be right back. Got the key. So I don't know where the key goes. Let's save again. Awesome. Where? Oh, there's no keyhole. Great, <laughs> that's right. It was not this one, and not this one. It was this one that was locked. I unlocked the door. So smart. So smart. Hello, circuit breaker. Must be a fuse box. Let's see. Oh, goody. Oops. Okay, so, uh huh? Uh huh? So it's this one first. Okay, what? Okay, so this one, that one, that one, damn it. So this one, this one, this one, damn it. So this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one, damn it. Ah, oh, so this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. What a weird puzzle for electricity should be back on. I doubt it. It's not on right now. I can't see shit. It's not on. Leave me alone. Okay. Can you not sprint, sir? Yeah, electricity is not on, dude. I don't know what the hell- What is happening? Jesus Christ. Let's not do that, okay? Ah. Uh. There's still no electricity, why? Oh, there is. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, hey! Ah, thanks, kid. Electricity's back on. What the hell are you doing? I'm disposing of this corpse. Who is that? Just some oldster. He died a few days back. It's cheaper this way. I feel sick. What's that? Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna throw up at any moment now. Piles of guts, body fluids, and blood. They yeah, will have to do. You found some bloody meat. What the fuck? Dude. This is terrible. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's very not good. So not good. Let's go down here in our single hallway. Got that bloody meat, though. Now this is what we can cook and serve the old people. What a weirdo. What a weirdo. You want meat? Here's meat. Happen to come across this fine piece of beef. Do you think it could be suitable for your price? What the fuck is wrong with price? Like, really? Dude. <laughs> You've turned just as bad as everybody else. Let's take a look. Yes. Oh. Brilliant. Meat's back on the menu, boys. Thank you. That was a reference to Lord of the Rings. I like that. Or that might have been a reference to something else before that, but I don't know. I started cooking right away. My pleasure. You're fucking gross. I don't know what to do now. 
So I got the meat. Maybe some people will leave to go eat. Electricity is sure not on though, I'm telling you that. Let's save, huh? Saved progress. No answer. Okay, so... Hello? You're all gonna die. Oh my god. Who are you dragging out now? <laughs> Is that Miss Goodwin? Whoa, yeah, that's blood. Hello, anyone there? I'm here to see Miss Goodwin speaking service. Do you guys even know what's happening to you right now? I can't get in that door. Okay, I don't know what to do. Save the progress. Let's go back to the guy, see if meat, meat he's made. What else was there? This was the room with the weird show. I didn't get any new items. I don't know what to do. I'm lost again. Come on, guys. Tell me what to do. This is the bathroom. Just wash your hands. You should. You probably should, actually. Touching that meat. Oh, hello. She's back. Dude. What the fuck? I prepared a beautiful dish. Finally, these people will get the food they deserve. Speaking of that, I'm here to see Mrs. Goodwin. Could I, I take the food to her? Well, sir, kid, take this dish to her. Oh, God. Thank you, chef. Oh my fucking god. What the hell is wrong with her? Where is it at? It's not in here, right? No, it's electrical center. Um. Bathroom. This is the TV room. I don't know which... I'm not confident that would work. Okay. What? Is it this one? Room service, well, sort of. Do you bring food? I'm hungry. Yes. Can I come in, please? Please do. Ah, Mrs. Goodwin. Well, hello. That's not Mrs. Goodwin. Hold on. It's a wardrobe. This might come in handy. You found a hanger. Oh, what are we doing? Hello. You're not Mrs. Goodwin. I'm afraid you got the wrong room, dear. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound rude. Here's the food. Thank you, dear. Well, I'll get going. A long time... It's a long time anyone came to see me. I'm sorry. I think it was two months ago. My grandchild came to see me. I really need... And I've heard... I haven't heard from him since. Though I believe he got married lately. That's nice to hear. With a girl. What was her name again? Was it Helen? I wouldn't know. <laughs> no, I believe it was Helga. That's nice. But I'm of... Her father got his ankle broken. She's just like interrupting him, I'm assuming. I wonder if he's alright now. Well, take care now. I've been awfully windy lately. Fall is going to be coming early this year. Sorry, man, I really need to get going now. Oh, look at me, little tittle-tattle again. I understand you must be going now. Please take this for my list for listening to my nonsense. Cowbell. Thank you, madam. Okay, I got items. So, save is a good idea. Let's figure out what we're going to do here. So, these guys are... Oh, hello, nurse. What's that, dear? Nothing, never mind. <laughs> Look what I got. That's a really fancy hanger, dear. <laughs> Please don't step here, dear. It's so dirty. All right, madam. Yeah, fucking crazy. All right, let's try to use the cowbell with people. Wake up, old man. Oh, wait. I know what to do now. Wake up, finally. Oh, well, I can't wake him up. I need... Higher powers for that. <laughs> let's, let's let's poke him. Let's poke him with uh with the hanger. Poke him with the hanger seems true. <laughs> I don't know what to do then. What do you guys want from me? Okay, that would be a waste of my perfectly fine hanger. Oh, it says me. I can't believe that didn't work. <laughs> All right, so that's open. It's open. This is locked now? No, it's not. That's electric. Okay, that's right. What the hell? I gotta hold I gotta hold this cowbell. I was thinking maybe you could find it useful. That's nice of you. I already have a bell to call the staff. Thanks, so. Oh wait. 
What over here? What's that? Antenna? No, it's a hangar. Okay. Wait a second. So, the cowbell can alert the service, but I can't get over there because that one lady's in the way. Strangely enough. Let's go downstairs and see what's happening down there. Because... I don't know. Oh god. It's so dark. He's gone. There's a lot of blood. That's fucking weird, man. That's the kind of shit you worry about when you send your parents away to a nursing home. I mean, not not realistically, but could be an irrational fear. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Everybody has them. Okay, so nothing in here. I literally have to go to the service and ring the bell. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? <laughs> I can't... Okay, let me try to wake the other person. Oh, wait! No! I gotta have the, the antenna! Yeah. I think this could be a hanger. Act as antenna. Hi, it worked. I'm a genius. Getting back like his airing. Oh, everyone's all focused now. Oh, we woke, woke the guy up. Sweet. This has gotta be Miss Goodwin. Before I enter, I'll find her a flower. That's only polite. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. So what? Okay, I can go over here now. She's cleaned it up. And then use this. Service, please. Finally! Oh, Jesus. I know. Listen, there's a door behind bars. I think I left my wallet there. So, uh-huh. Take- there's a key, yes? Perfect, I suppose. What's up? Yeah, me too. Did I- did I get a key? Or did she lift the bars? These guys are jamming. What is it again? Oh, I came back. I remember you used to watch when I was a kid. So many memories. Okay. I guess I can go to that... barred room now. Maybe she lifted the bars? Is that possible? Uh huh? Hell yeah. Dead person, hello, flower, I'll take it. Oh man, I wonder how long she's been here. These people are treated like cattle. I don't think she needs a flower anymore. Oh, you've had a you've had a dream about that, haven't you? Let's wake the dead, huh? Maybe if I leave the bill here. Do the trick. Cowbell removed. What? Oh I see, and then they'll come in here and see it. Before I enter, I'll find her flower. That's only polite. I have it, okay. Do I have to show the flower to the door? This is a good one. This is a surprise. Can I come in? I'm here. Come in, please. Awesome. That was easy. I was nervous and afraid. I didn't know what to expect. Maybe she would blame me? I was concerned of her well-being. I felt guilty and ashamed. Oh, hello, Miss Goodwin. Look around your room first, because that's what I do. I brought you a flower. How are you, Ms. Goodwin? Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you, dear. I'm delighted you came to see me. Of course, madam. I still feel horrible for taking over your home. I shouldn't have done that. Stop it, young man. You shouldn't blame yourself. Thank you, Ms. Goodwin. That means a lot to me. But still, can I do something for you? Anything at all? No, I, I have no one. I just wanted to see a familiar face before I'm gone. Sorry if that music's way too loud. I'll turn it down for a bit. Just wanted to see the familiar face before I'm gone. Uh, madam, you don't deserve this. I'm just spinelessly scallywag, but let me make this right. I'm just a spineless scallywag. Uh, you could move to my place. I'll take care of you. It's not much, but anything beats this. Oh, you're such a polite young man, but I can't do that, dear. You have your own life and things to take care of. Me? I'm old. I won't be around for too long. Madam, don't say that. No, listen to me. Don't blame yourself, young man. Besides, soon I will get to see my husband again. Aw. Madam, I will come to see you every week. You can always call me if you want to talk. Thank you. Does that make up for it, man? Do you feel better, Price? Do you feel better? You should. At least a little bit. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible. I was so close. One more name, one last push. But something, something had changed. Something inside me tried to make me stop. I ignored that something. I didn't stop. Mr. Jones was the last name on my list. <sighs> Doors boarded, can't get through. Mm-mm. Don't like it. Don't like it. Is there a save point? Please? Is there anyone? Uh, the door seems to be ajar. Don't mind if I do. 
Come on in. Oh god, there's a save point. Thank god. <sighs> this game is weird, man. This game is really good, but weird. It makes me feel things I shouldn't be feeling. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you want to do like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.